Hello guys, if you remember the last episode, then you might know of Bluey, who came into my server. Well, it got a lot worse. You see, more cartoon characters came in, but it wouldn't end there. You see, while I was repairing a iron golem, something happened to my loot. As I walked back to the village home, Okay, so what is in Where's my stuff? No Guys, I do not know where my stuff is. It turns out someone could be taking my stuff from my chest. It turns out I'll need to find the clues in order to find what I need to find. So I'm going to need to look at what the clues I have to find this thief. I decided to look for the neighbor, because he's the one that keeps secrets from us in this server. But the plan went wrong and he didn't tell me anything. And sadly, I needed to find my armor now or I could lose it forever. But, I have a friend I can reach out to. That's right. My friend Quift is trustworthy. And he could help me find whoever did it in this server. Only, I hope that's the answer. But, I noticed something. You know the church, right? There has been only one person that hasn't gone to church in this server, and it's drumroll please. Ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum this guy right here. You see, this was our em enemy of the server. He had blonde hair. An orange top hat in an orange sweater. Yeah, uh, bro, how about you give Velma sweater back instead of just stretching it? Anyways, yeah, we need to do something. Because if we don't do something, he will take everyone's resources and become the most powerful person in the server. So after that, I decided to get out of the server and think, how am I going to stop him? Well, my friend, or frenemy, Peppa Pig, has the answers to this. She told me that I needed to go and make a sand trap, one where he would fall and then die. But it's risky, because if I try that, I can die and the whole server will end with him being in power. And I don't want to do that. So she told me to place the trap right here. Now there's lots of issues, because he's not dumb. He can see the sand clearly. So I'm gonna have to figure it out. But I had an idea for that. You see, he is really greedy. Meaning he'll take whatever is on store for him. So my idea is that... I will make a shop, and uh, yeah, cause then if I use a stone sword he'll think it's netherite, then when he realizes it's not, I'll drop the trap in time for him to fall to his death. Okay, so this should be fine, I mean, it's not so bad. So yeah, I started digging my way down. 
and going deeper and deeper the further I go. And now we wait. So he saw this. But in greed, this is what happens. fell and died. Or so you thought. You see, he actually survived the fall, but that wouldn't stop me from taking it another step further. So I did the only reasonable thing to kill him off with lava. It's a painful death, yes, but honestly, I don't care. This is Minecraft. I'll kill who I want. And as you can see, he died. A brutal death. As you can see, the lava was coming after him slowly. And he couldn't do anything because he never thought to pick up my pick. And as of that, he died. A brutal death, like I said. In the end, should we be I on greed? No. Overall, I thank Peppa Pig for this plan. And now I can go back to the village and get what I had. Because you see, he didn't carry it with him. He put it inside a chest, and as of that, I found a chest with all the stuff I had. Oh, come on, where's my stuff? Wait, this looks suspicious. There's my... Oh my gosh. Wow! All my stuff. He took my diamonds, my armor. Oh yeah, this is why you shouldn't mess with me. Wow. Well, I've grown advanced. So what I'm gonna do to get out is this. I'm not... There. Wow. Yeah, I'm blocking this off. Oh, look at the sky. Well, guys, if you enjoyed this video of me killing another person, leave a like subscribe and let me know what else you'd like in the comments below i will continue the series i love doing this and again i'd like to thank you guys you are my reason for my whole youtube career anyways bye and